And welcome back to Who Would Win? You'll notice, uh, where's the face facial hair? What'd you do? You're bald like a babe! No, I'm not. I've still got these lovely chops that I grow. Um, just thought I needed to shave that so I can regrow in a bit uh, better. Uh, anyway, Who Would Win? Obviously, this Who Would Win comes to us, well, obviously, it's, uh, him versus Aku. Comes to us from Joshua Guerrero, who asked the question, who would win the fight? Him from the Powerpuff Girls franchise. It's him! Or Aku, the shape-shifting master of evil. Now, you have to understand these two, I actually did a what if at one point if these two had teamed up. Because yeah, so, you first have to make the argument they're in the same universe. But, him is basically the devil. He is the devil. Uh, more in the Powerpuff Girls universe. So, a step besides shape shifting, and he's got like reality warping capabilities, putting them kind of like in a weird dreamlike st uh, state and things along those lines. He has any ability you could think the devil devil essentially has. The Powerpuff Girls really don't overpower him so much as they outsmart him and then kind of weaken him and then overpower him. And they never defeat him. They just make him go away for a while. So I mean. It's a, it's so the question is, the, is Aku stronger than the devil? Well, we have to look at Aku and what he actually is. Aku, the shape-shifting master of evil. Technically, see, the Aku that we know is not the Aku that start, that was original. The, uh, Aku is, is like a living embodiment of evil. He is. And it took like three gods from the pantheons. It was um, Ra, Odin, and Shiva? I want to say, uh, it was an Indian, a Hindu god. And they were, def like, killing him and, you know, beating him up in space. And they nearly did, but a part of him escaped, made it to Earth, and then through a combination, and, like, created, like, this black tar pit of goo and evil. And then through a combination of human sorcery, spawn uh, spawned Aku as we know him. Now, Aku's powers, you name it, he probably has it. He has... Excuse me, shape, the shapeshifting master of evil. He's a shapeshifter. Physically enhanced strength. He can uh, fly, teleport, possess, uh, create, create time portals. Um, he's can't be hurt by conventional means. You need basically blessed and holy items to even hurt him on any level. Jack's sword, as far as we know, was the only thing that could truly hurt him. Although in the final, seas, uh, final series... Um, or final season, the last episode when they had that big fight, the giant robot came and did actually beat Aku up for a little bit. Because I that was, that part of made me laugh my ass off when that happened. Because I'm like, this isn't going to beat him. But even Aku's just like, pow, ow, 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 ow. And he just rips his heart. Ow, you son of a bitch, that hurts. So he can be hurt by like someone of comparable strength. It's just not going to do any lasting harm to him. You would need something of a of a holy or magical persuasion to actually do lasting damage on some level to him. So, so the question is, can a comparable evil hurt Aku? Well, we've well, I think the answer is yes, simply because uh, comparable evil and power can a comparable power hurt Aku, and the answer is yes because we saw that happen in the last episode when the giant robot came. Again, it didn't do lasting damage, but in terms of pure physical strength, it was able to actually hurt, at least surprise, and briefly, like, just overwhelm Aku, like, for about 10 seconds, and then Aku was just like, okay, fuck you. Uh, but it still happens. So if you have someone who has comparable powers to Aku, you can hurt Aku. The question is, can you beat Aku? Aku? Uh, now, the way I see this fight even taking place is they're competing, right, that they'd be competing for, like, you know, power and things along those lines. Um, I mean, it, it would make sense because they're, one's the devil and one's Aku, who is technically in the, in the, in the devil incarnate in many ways. So, it, it would make sense that they would maybe be vying for power, there's a power struggle between the two of them. So, you know, him is like, ah, what are you going to do, small fry? Small fry, huh? Well, let's see how small you think I really am. Grozaku says, like, oh, come on. And then he goes bigger. It's like, well, I can grow bigger, too. And then they'll just have, like, a size off. It's like, mine's bigger than yours. Uh, my, my cock's bigger than your cock. My cock's double the size that yours is. <laughs> they can do that, too. Um, 
So, I mean, eventually they'll be like, okay, this is stupid. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, uh, so, you know, maybe just a little bit. And then uh, they basically shrink down to a more reasonable size. And then they would actually have a start the fight. Now, again, whatever power you can think the devil has, the devil probably has. He's probably immortal. Him is more than likely immortal. He is probably omniscient on some level. He's probably got uh, nigh invulnerability, unless except to certain things. His his main weaknesses seem to be the loss of fear against him or loss of control, uh, and then that weakens him enough that you can control uh, that you can beat him. What Aku seems to at least have over him is a better mastery of things like sorcery. An actual magic. Like, I don't believe him as any time traveling capabilities. He existed when the Power of Kills actually went into the future at one point. He was still there. But, um, he, uh, he, it's not like he time traveled or anything. He was just, he's, he's the devil. He's eternal in some, in most ways. So, it's not like he, but then that's, a, that arranges the problem that even using like a time portal to throw him in the past, wouldn't, or in the future, wouldn't do anything. He's the devil. So, I mean, it, it probably makes him immune to time shenanigans, really, uh, being the devil. Being, and sorry, for some reason, whenever I do my chops, even when I still have hair here, the one side isn't, is like, you see, it's a little rounded, while this is a little bit more pointed down. I, I don't get why it does that. I really don't. Um, anyway, I digress. Um, so, uh, so the uh, Aku doesn't necessarily have anything that puts down him. But I can't make the and I can't make the argument that him has anything to put down Aku. It's really going to come down to the X factors of does him have the right ability to actually permanently damage Aku, and does Aku and Ka Aku basically break uh, him's confidence and belief in his power to overtake him, so to, to break him's power to overtake him um, makes sense in both ways when I really think about that sentence. So, the qu who do I think ultimately wins? I gotta go with Aku. I gotta lean towards Aku on the grounds that Aku's weakness is much more particular than Him's weakness is. Him's, and that's not even a true defined weakness that like writers or the show has even said. It's just something you can take away from actually watching the character and how he gets defeated. Him, it's more likely to break him's confidence and overall control of the situation than it is for him to conjure up like a holy relic because he's the devil, so he's not going to do that. And even then, he can probably still hurt Aku, but he can't, can't do any lasting damage. Because again, as far as we know, the only way to actually kill Aku is with a holy divine item of some kind. A, so a weapon of some stature. And him doesn't have anything like that. Uh, so I gotta go with Aku, but to say that him maybe couldn't find a way to get, like, some sort of weapon or something like that, it's not impossible, but I would go with Aku in that regard. I, I gotta give the fight to Aku, it's not, but it's gonna be a drawn-out knuckle-brawl between these guys, or well, knuckle and claw, but it's gonna be a drawn-out fight, really, between these characters, because uh, they basically are just gonna keep tanking each other's shots for a while. Uh, but ultimately, yeah, I'll lean towards Aku because he's got the, just one very specific weakness, and him has a bit more ill-defined but easily more exploitable weaknesses. So I gotta, I'll got i go with Aku in this fight. But let me know what you think. Do you think him, as the devil, remember, he is the because he is the devil, do you think him completely overtakes Aku? Do you think Aku completely overtakes him? Do you think it's closer or farther than I made it out to be, even though I didn't give a percentage in this one? Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll go 60-40. So, yeah, there's your percentage. Uh, put it in the comments below, let me know. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put it in the comments below. Let us know. We'll get to a review of it at some point. And ideas for who would win, Star Wars, Superior Magic, what if, anything I do on this channel, put it in the comments below. Let me know. I'll get to it at some point. I'll be back with a little bit with uh, what if, because it's still the week of what if. Later.